Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marketing Matters, our weekly webinar brought to you every Wednesday at 10 a.m. by Landmark Title. We get the pleasure of having Brian on today. As you guys know, I am Sarah with Landmark Title. I'm the Landmark Title social media marketing strategist and educator. And like I said, I get the pleasure of bringing absolutely wonderful, wonderful guest speakers on. You guys know a lot of times I'm teaching. Today, though, we have Brian. Ryan, and I'm probably going to say your last name wrong. Probably. Uh, so go ahead. Give it Give it a... It's a really time. easy. It's okay. Jan Polski. See? Yeah. It's easy. It's Polish, right? No, it's not. It's Russian, oh. though. U Ukrainian. Oh, Ukrainian's in the house. All right. I made it out. I made it out okay. My, my family's from the Ukraine as well. Cool. So I should know these things, right? <laughs> but that's not what we're here to talk about today. What we are here to talk about today is HomeBot. Mm -hmm. HomeBot is a great tool. A lot of realtors, um, it's been around for years. A lot of realtors have been, were using it before the market got super crazy and we didn't really have to market and we didn't really have to reach out. We didn't have to ask our clients how they were feeling or if they had any questions. Things were just flying by. But as we all know, the market shifted, it changed, and HomeBot has been making a huge comeback. So if this is not something that you are utilizing or you've utilized in the past, but you're thinking about bringing it back in as part of your marketing for your business, we're going to tell you today all about it and why you should be using it. So Brian, if you want to go ahead and hop in on the screen share and take the driver's wheel, we are ready for you. Screen share. Let's see. All right. So I want to, um, let's see, share. Um, I want to start by just explaining. Well, first of all, I'll, I'll introduce myself. My name is Brian Yampolsky. I've been a mortgage broker for 30 years. Before that, I was actually a real estate agent for two and a half years. Um, the reason I'm talking about HomeBot is not because I'm a tech guy. I'm, I'm not. Um, I know just enough to kind of keep up, but, but I'm not going to talk about HomeBot from a technology standpoint. What I'm going to talk about HomeBot about, if, if, that, if that's a complete sentence, is um, how I use it to generate leads. And I'm going to share with you some screenshots uh, to show you how it's used. But the way that I learned about HomeBot, and I just learned about it in October, is I had probably a handful of my real estate agents um, ask me if I had HomeBot. And I said, no, why? And they, their answers were all the same. They said, because we love it, it's awesome. And I want you to get it so that we can use it with you. So I started doing a little research and um, I found out that they were right. It is awesome. Uh, it does generate leads and it's really easy to use. So with that, I'm gonna just kind of walk you through what, what I see as some of the the value uh, to HomeBot. First of all, I want you to imagine if you have a database of clients, I have a database of, you know, with HomeBot, I use about 500 clients with HomeBot. Uh, but if you have a database of, let's say, 500 clients who own homes and you've helped them over the years, it's really hard to call them all. It's really hard to engage with them all in a meaningful way. So, the way I describe what HomeBot does is it takes your database, all 500, and it funnels them down into maybe 60 or 65 or 70 of those clients who are expressing a deliberate interest in doing something real estate related. So if you had your database and you could use something that would narrow down your focus and say, okay, these 65 people are interested in talking with you about either selling their home buying a new home, buying an investment property, remodeling, what have you, that is the value of HomeBot is it makes it easy for me to engage with my entire database and then connect with the ones who are really interested in doing something. So um, in, an, in a nutshell, that is exactly what I think the value of, of HomeBot is. This first screenshot that I'm showing you is, <clears throat> is going to show that the last time I used HomeBot, which was it's a, it's a monthly uh, it's a monthly program. I sent out 272 
reports to 272 clients. And I had a 72% open rate. Now, I don't know, because I'm not a tech expert, I don't know what the open rate is for a good program versus a bad program, but I'm pretty sure that I heard an open rate is a lot lower than 72%. So set, that means 72% of, of the people that I sent it to opened the HomeBot report. And what the HomeBot report is, is it's very much just like a simple, easy to understand CMA. So if you've got, if you've got 272 clients like I sent out to, uh, they're all probably curious about, well, you know, what's my home worth? What's my equity position? Um, what could I pull out and maybe invest in other real estate? Uh, those are those are kind of the, the sticky points of the report is is telling clients what their home value is and telling them what their equity position is so that they can make some decisions on what they want to do. So this is the first screen I want to show with you. In a 30-day period, I sent out one report and we got a 72% open rate. Now, the next screen I want to show you is called the activity feed. And this just very simply tells me that of the clients that opened their report, these are the things that they did. And I put a little yellow check mark next to the things that caught my eye. So Anne viewed her home's market. Uh, Sam viewed her home's market. But look at Dave Smith. He viewed a new home panel. He checked listings. Uh, he engaged in a first time listing search. He searched for listings. And then he did another new listing search. That to me, is a great example of the value of HomeBot. It has narrowed down my database to Dave Smith. He's clearly interested in doing something because he's spending his time clicking on the different parts of the report that tell him what his home is worth, that tell him how much equity he has, that tells him what it would look like if he, let's say, bought a new home for himself and kept his current home and used it as an Airbnb rental. There's just a lot of really cool uh, parts of the report that people can dive into. So guess what I did? I called Dave Smith. We had a great conversation about what his plans are for the future. And he's going to be another client of mine uh, because of the way that I used HomeBot. The next screen I want to show you is, is what HomeBot emails me. So in the last seven days, it says HomeBot drove 100 client activities. And you can see that Alan had five of those little activities. Dave Smith is the guy that I just talked about. He had three. And so you get this little report that shows you which clients of yours are engaging and to what extent they're engaging. So again, it gives you a, a narrowed down focus of who you should be calling. Um, this is my most active buyer was Dave Smith. He had 10 activities when I got this activity report. Um, I'm going to show you also there's, there's, a, uh, there's a, a functionality to HomeBot that not only lets me use it for my database, but it makes it really easy and really affordable for my realtors to use it on their clients as well. So for example, um, if I have a, a real estate agent who wants to use HomeBot with me, they can use HomeBot with their client database for free up to 20, with up to 25 of their clients. So maybe you want to just stick your toe in the pool and, and try it with 20 or 25 agents, it's not going to cost you a thing. Uh, the HomeBot reports that are going to be sent out to those clients are going to be branded with the realtor's information as well as my information because I'm paying for HomeBot. Um, now, if you test the waters with HomeBot and you think, all right, this is really pretty cool, I want to use it on my whole database, then you can actually use it for up to 500 of your clients and the cost to you is only 25 bucks a month. So you can provide a mini CMA, help your clients figure out all the details of their home ownership um, and figure out which ones are interested in talking to you about a move, a sale, a purchase, what have you, for 25 bucks a month. It's pretty affordable. Um, Don Bernhardt is an agent in the East Valley who I just started using HomeBot with. And in or, or from the time period of January 16th to January 23rd, which is just one week's time, she used HomeBot with 90 of her clients and they engaged in 23 activities. So there are 23 clicks going on from her database of people who are looking at either 
educating themselves on what their home is worth, what their equity is, what they could afford to buy, et cetera. So guess what Dawn's doing? She's calling those 23 clients first uh, before calling the other people in her database. So that's, that's kind of the value to the real estate agent. Um, I want to show you an email that I just, I think I just got it. It was Monday. So Sam is a client of mine who just quite frankly, I, I sent her an email saying, hey, how do you like the HomeBot reports that I've been sending to you? And she said here that Ian and I have had many discussions around the HomeBot information, actually from selling and going smaller to taking out an equity loan to reset. It's a great program. So that's an example of you know, how it's received by your clients. Um, the unsubscribe rate is under 1%. So under 1% of my clients have actually said, I don't really want this information. Um, so I'd, I'd love to answer any questions if anybody has questions about HomeBot. Um, Sarah, are you managing the questions? I think you might be. Yeah, I think um, we're good so far. Okay. The, uh, the only other thing I'll, I'll mention about HomeBot is it's really easy to use. Like you, you don't have to know anything except how to, how to put your client's names, email addresses, and uh, home addresses into the system. If you just put their name, email, and property address in the system, the HomeBot system is going to do everything else for you. It's going to generate the, the uh, monthly report to your database. It's going to give them all the opportunities to to see what their home is worth and see what their equity is and see what it would look like if they bought a new home or invested in a new home. So many different options, but the, the real true value is it just helps you engage with your database in a very affordable way um, and in a very efficient way so that you're calling the people who are expressing interest first. Um, that's it. That's, I don't want to keep droning on about the same thing, but I'm a big fan of it. It's only been three months that I've been using it. And I've generated three leads. So I'm not really doing anything except just letting the system run. And so far it's it's provided provided one lead for each month that I'm using it. If I actually started using it more, I'm sure I could generate more, but that's my presentation. Awesome, Brian. Hey, guess what? We do have a question. Oh my God, I can't believe it. All that. right. The question should, I un should I unscreen my screen? Uh, yeah, you can if you want. I can always, I can pop mine back on All too. Right. Perfect. All right. Let's go. We have a question slide. There we go. All right. So if you guys have any questions, let us know. Brian, we do have one. Can you only expand clients with a co-sponsor? A realtor can use HomeBot themselves if they want to. I think. Wait a minute. Let me think. No, I take it back. The, uh, the yeah. HomeBot program is intended for lenders to use and then help their realtors use it in an efficient manner. So, sorry, you got to work with us, man. <laughs> hey, we've got another question in. Our clients, and that's why your, your clients wanted you to get it, right? Correct. So they uh, yeah, there were, there were literally, I think, four or five realtors who, when I said, what do you think about HomeBot? They're like, I love it. When can you get, sign up for it so I can use it with you? They're really, really pro HomeBot. Nice, good. We got some more questions coming in. Um, are clients added one at a time or is there a function to upload an entire spreadsheet? I uploaded the entire thing all at once. Nice. And you know what? I mean, I, again, I can't emphasize this enough. I am not a tech guy. So I just called HomeBot and I said, please, tell me the easy way to do this. And they did. And it was easy. And, you know, once I uploaded my client's information, I literally haven't done anything else except just watch the reports come through. Pretty nice. Yeah. Love automation and systems. Yeah. Um, another question. You mentioned that all you need is the address name and home price. Then does the software automatically produce the CMA? Yes, it does. Um, I could show you what it looks like, but um, I'm going to save that for another time because I know we don't have all day. Uh, but yeah, their system produces the report. It, there's a, I've been talking from the standpoint of homeowners and how homeowners can see their value and see their equity and all that jazz. There's also another side to HomeBot, which uh, provides information to potential home buyers. It helps them search 
It's really kind of a cool function. It helps them search not just for their price range, but for homes that are of the size they want, homes that are quick to close on, lots of different parameters that home buyers can use HomeBot with as well. Nice, all right. Can you use HomeBot as your home evaluation tool on your website? I have no idea. Um, I don't know the answer to that. Um, I don't know. I, I can tell you this. Um, and, and I don't know what this means, but I think it might have something to do with it. Um, I know that realtors can use their own IDX feeds. Does that have some, like, I, I'm not 100% clear on the realtors and their part of the business and their IDX I feeds. Think, but. I mean, from my knowledge of HomeBot, it's more of like an emailing system. Correct. Yeah, it, it emails the mini CMA to the client. And then when the client wants to engage and click on, I want to see what these homes look like, or I want to search for these homes, then it brings it into the HomeBot system and they have their own kind of proprietary search, yeah. which uh, quite frankly is, I think, more user-friendly than, than yeah. others that I I've think, seen. I think you could on your website potentially create a landing page for people to sign up on and then they would have access uh, to HomeBot. But I don't think they, you, I, I mean... I'm not, I'm not a lender. I'm not an expert at this, but I don't think it's something like you could put the search function right on your website. I think Correct. it's a sign up process. Correct. Um, Brian, we actually do have quite a few more minutes left. Um, if you want to screen share and run a CMA for, for us, we'd love to see that. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to show you um, if I can find it. I just got... I can find it. I found it. Okay. So I'm going to put this over here and share my screen again. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Cynthia said you could use her address if you would like. Yeah, it's too complicated. Um, but here's, so for example, this, this is, whoops, let's not do that. This is, um, I get an email, I signed up as a homeowner. Okay, because I wanted to see it from the eyes of what does my client see. So I signed up as a homeowner, and this is what I received. It says, "Hi Brian, your new market report is ready." So what's going on? And and I chose the kind of Old Town Scottsdale zip code to see what's going on down there. And it shows me the average home price is that I find that hard to believe. But um, if I want to explore, and I'm thinking of looking at homes on the market. I think this is where it takes me. Yeah, this is, um, so this is an example of the report. Um, I actually own a home in that zip code um, on Minnesota. And if you scroll down, it says, the estimated value of your home is 807,000. And you see where it shows tune value. That means that all right, I can actually click on this and say, my value is different than that because I remodeled or I added a pool or I did whatever. And so you can, as a homeowner, you can tune the value so that it's a little more accurate than what the system spits out. And then it shows you a graphical representation of over the last five years, you know, what has the value done? And we all kind of love to see this timeline. Um, I'm gonna show you the other thing that kind of engages with your database tells you that they found a 30 year loan with for 226,000 from 2017. So that means your net worth is over $600,000. If you scroll further down, it gives you a, a little example of what you've paid so far. So I've paid $22,000 towards principal and 46,000 towards interest. I don't necessarily think that's compelling. Um, but it's just another kind of user-friendly tool to, to kind of get familiar with what's going on with your house. It also gives you some refinance options if you refi to a 15-year or a 5-1 arm or a 7-1 arm. These are all negative red, meaning that refinancing is not a good idea for me. Mm. Um, but the thing that I want to show you, the, oh, this is kind of cool. If you pay X amount of dollars more each month, you could save X amount of dollars over the life of your loan. So that's kind of a little calculator. What if I pay more per month? If you bought another home, how much could you afford? If you bought a new home, if you bought an investment property, if you rent your home and buy another, 
if you sell and just keep the cash and live out of your car, you know, that's, that's kind of a, another engagement for the clients. And when the clients click on these things, I'm notified so I can see what their interests are. And down here, it says your house has built $603,000 worth of equity. How could you use it? Gives you different, re different options of what you could do. You could add solar panels, you could pay off other debts. Again, just engaging the clients in knowing what their home value is and, and how much it's worth to them. Oh, if you rented- Splurge pardon? on a European vacation? No, it doesn't give you that is, It doesn't like that one, is it? Because it's in red? You must know my wife. Um, <laughs> if you rented your home on Airbnb, how much could you potentially earn? That's kind of a neat little thing that I'm not going to click on. Um, and that's, that's the report that I get as a homeowner, okay? I'm not going to show you the search function because, quite frankly, I don't know it that well. I haven't really searched. I leave that to my clients to do. Okay. Awesome. All right, Brian, we've got a question from you. <laughs> do you think that info about uh, qualifications, et cetera, is accurate? It doesn't matter. Here's why. All you want HomeBot to do is to tell you that your client is thinking about or curious about buying, selling, remodeling, whatever. I couldn't care less if the home value is accurate, if the qualification is accurate, because quite frankly, nothing automated is going to be as accurate as what I do, but that's because I'm a human being. So forget about that question. It doesn't matter. You just want HomeBot to tell you who of your 500 clients should you call first. Right. These are just talking points for them. It gets right. the creative juices flowing. Oh, if I was to refinance, I could do these things. You know, I better reach out to my realtor. I better reach out to my lender. Um, and you know what I, you know what I like about it is also like when, when HomeBot sends out the report to my clients, I love just calling my clients to follow up and say, Hey, how are you enjoying this HomeBot report? Like, you know, is it bringing value to you? Should I keep sending it to you? So far, everyone has said, I really dig it. I love it. So it's, it's providing not, ac not actual, you know, numerical value, but it's, it's a nice touch point that people appreciate too. Absolutely. Any reason that you have to reach out, to stay top of mind with your clients is a good reason. And it's, you know, if it only, if it, if it, if it was less expensive, it wouldn't be, it, it would be impossible. Uh, it's either free or 25 bucks a month, depending on how many clients you use with it. Nice. Awesome information, Brian. If you guys nice. have any other questions, please put them up in there. Um, just real quickly, I'm going to go through the classes that we have coming up, which we are now, yeah, yeah, it's February. I'm like, we are now in February. Yes, we are. Um, and we have a lot more classes coming up, but I think some of the flyers are in the work. So the one that I want to share with you guys today, and it is if I was going to only share one upcoming class, this is a great one to focus on. And it is fraud. Um, fraud right now is just up at such a drastic level. We're all seeing it. We're all dealing with it. You don't want your clients to be the ones to bear the brunt of a fraud type situation. So we're gonna bring Matt McBride. Um, he's part of our Shattuck company in, I've seen his presentation on fraud and like, I don't even deal with this end of our business, but my jaw dropped learning all of the things that I may be even missing myself when it comes to fraud. So this is a great class. This is going to be on Zoom February 22nd at 11 a.m. to about 1230. Um, you can go to the bit.ly link to register. You do need to register for this. Or we made it even easier. You could just scan the QR code. So take your phones out right now, guys. Get in there. Scan that code. Sign up. Uh, this is information that you really, really will want to uh, implement into your business. And then that's it. There will be more classes, so stay tuned. Um, you can also find up-to-date classes and events on our Landmark Title Assurance Agency website under our event page that is updated weekly. So tune into that 
for more information. And then, of course, anything that you see here on Marketing Matters, please reach out to our business development management team. They can match you up with a great lender like Brian to get you signed up for HomeBot. So reach out to Beth, Becky, Melinda, Mary, Patty, Michelle, uh, up in Prescott, Michael and Renee. They are absolutely amazing. They will get you all the info that you need. And of course, thank you, Brian. This was a great presentation. HomeBot is, it's very cool. If you're not using it, sign up for it. Um, give it yourselves another reason to reach out to your clients and add that value. And then of course, thank you to Landmark Title for allowing us to bring you Marketing Matters and all of this great information every Wednesday at 10 a.m. We also have seven offices across the Valley to service your title and escrow needs, not just marketing, as well as our office up in Prescott and our two offices in Nevada. That's it for us today, guys. We'll see you same time, same place next week.